Hi, this is Dr. Tracy Payne. Um, I am going to attempt to explain a working group that I'm trying to put into place for the 2019-2020 year and then therefore moving forward. Uh, getting this off the ground is the trickiest part of this plan, um, but I think once we get rolling and once you understand um, what I'm trying to do here, that it, it, it might be something that you're very interested in participating in. So the idea is, let's say we can get this off the ground just this year, um, and we can identify up to six individuals who, um, if they don't know, already know about the hippie program, they would take the rest of this year to learn about the hippie program. And what I mean by that is maybe a, a go on a home visit or to a graduation, um, come, you know, we're welcome to have you at USF uh, to meet the state office team members. Uh, and then consider an event that you might be willing to organize in the next year, in 2020. Thirdly, it's to recruit a friend or a junior member that will work with you in 2020. We'll also always be on the lookout for people and persons who are willing to support us in this working group. So if right now that's an intimidating part of this plan, uh, don't let it stop you from getting involved. We will seek out support for persons who are willing to organize that one event in the following year. I'll explain more about what an event is when I'm uh, done laying out this plan where all of these members would have would serve a junior year and a senior year. So it's a two-year commitment that I'm asking from these six individuals. And when those two year end, uh, we're not kicking anyone out if they, of course, would be willing to stay and continue supporting this working group, we would love that. But um, we want each person that joins on to know that a two-year commitment is really what we're seeking here. So that junior member in their first year would become a senior member their second year and then would actually walk out that event that they planned the previous year. The reason I have that two months there in parentheses is because I'm not looking for individuals to organize and host an event that would take an entire year. I'm talking about setting something up in maybe a month or two time frame uh, and not even on a full-time basis. I'm, you know, I, I believe in starting small and once we get things in motion, then it can grow larger from there. And they would have the support of not just their junior member, but everyone in the state office. Uh, the difficulty is in planning and organizing these events. And the idea is, of course, in 2020, that there would then be six senior members who were recruited in 2019. And those six members would each lead some event and they would be supported by those six junior members. Those junior members would be in their first year. And of course, their jobs that first year would be the same, to learn about Hippie, to volunteer to organize one event the next year, and to find someone by the end of their junior year to help them the next year in 2021. And of course, you know, so on and so on and so on. So for each year, there's a two-year commitment, a junior year, a senior year. In your senior year, you're supported by a junior. And then that junior then can either continue with the event that they supported in their junior year or they may choose to do an entirely new event in their senior year, which would be absolutely fine. So what exactly is an event? Here are some examples. This is not, um, these are not absolute and they are completely and entirely open to interpretation as none of these things are uh, in place as, as they stand. So um, we're starting from scratch, but some examples are a, formal coordinated legislative campaign where we reach out to all of the program sites, advisory committees, we put data in their hands that we would create at the state office, and then we pick a day, a day of action where every senator and state representative is approached by parents and children in their region and just simply provided information on the hippie program. That would be um, an example of an event that focuses on advocacy. 
And then there's also um, perhaps organizing a list of potential sponsors to call. Now, we're not asking any one individual to make all those calls, but to create that list and distribute them um, either to the state office or across the state of Florida so that all sites can identify sponsors or the state office could identify sponsorship for a single need such as a state conference or our annual readathon. Um, a third possibility is, of an event is identifying or facilitating workshops for families that uh, attend the group meetings at their local sites or identifying or facilitating workshops for home visitors in our regional trainings that take place in the North, the South, and in Central Florida. Uh, of course, the dream is to return to having a statewide conference where all 16 sites come to Tampa and we're training everybody all at once. And then of course, there's the do something new category, which I've thrown out a couple fun ideas, but it's really, it's all open for interpretation. And so I really hope that you will consider participating in this working group, making a two-year commitment. If you can't do it in 2019, maybe you'll consider us for 2020 or 2021. But again, I cannot emphasize enough that I am not looking for someone to uh, provide a humongous chunk of their time, but really uh, just help us get this off the ground. All right. Thanks for taking the time to at least consider this request.